Akari in Japanese means light and is written thus. Yet Akari can be written in another way and can designate another kind of light. That of the moon over the sun. That of day over night. That of the orient over the occident. That of the paper lamps of Isamu Noguchi, the sculptor of light who reinvented the Japanese lantern. The glowing constellation of Akari lamps developed over a period of 20 years, exploring over a hundred forms, ranging from the globular volumes of 1950s biomorphism to the sophisticated geometric construction of the 1960s. Akari lamps are fashioned from washi paper plied over a higo bamboo structure, and they're all foldable. to see and to be seen. From the beginnings of time, mankind has lit his surroundings to make up for the absence of daylight. Domestic lighting followed the history of humanity, its evolution, its techniques. It adapted to a very wide range of needs, from the most intimate to the most large-scale public requirements. In the 50s, cinema entered the schools to enlighten young minds about electric light. Light determines space, revealing the interaction between matter, color, and form. It makes the world visible and makes us visible to the world. What interests us here is the containing of the light source by the shade, the diffuser, the reflector, which channel, fragment, and filter it. Via the lamp, light designates, underlines, reveals, indicates. It can be cold or hot, white or colored, flat, gray, or murky. We speak of light being surgical, menacing, foreboding, even apocalyptic. But light is inseparable from its contrary, shadow. And the remarkable quality of Akari lamps is the incomparable ease with which they negotiate between light and shade, by night and by day. Their quasi-spiritual, luminous and sculptural properties find their true resonance in the artistic development of their creator, Isamu Noguchi was born in 1904 in Los Angeles. When he was asked what had made him an artist, he immediately cited his mother. The writer Noemi Gilmore raised her son alone in Japan. As for his father, the poet Yone Noguchi, he would never recognize this American son. An insatiable traveler born into a dual American-Japanese culture, he would never define himself as belonging to one or the other. In his teens, he resolutely embarked upon an artistic path in the United States. In 1927, a Guggenheim Foundation scholarship enabled him to come to Paris, where he worked as assistant to the sculptor Constantin Brancusi, a decisive stage in the orientation of his career. His whole life long, he remained bound to the Romanian artist, as to a father figure. Brancusi is considered to be the inventor of modern sculpture. For the pupil, the atmosphere which reigned in the master's studio in Impasse Ronsin was almost sacred. He would later say that all his life, he had tried in vain to go beyond the form of the endless column, 
that giant totem of repeated truncated and inverted pyramidal motifs, a central piece in the work of Brancusi, which haunted the Paris studio. The old master's fascination with polished reflective matter probably prompted Noguchi to place light at the center of his work. From the 30s onwards, he would use it as sculptural matter. The Akari, these uh, paper lanterns we talk about, came about because of my interest in uh, light in relation to sculpture. After all, all sculpture is reflected light, you know. Uh, every sculpture is a light sculpture in that sense. But uh, in about 1943, I became involved with uh, trying to make uh, sculptures with uh, lights embedded inside, you see, so that within a context of a uh, room, you know, at night or even in the daytime, but at night, presumably, uh, there would be this uh, uh, light uh, sculpture. The room, whole room could be a, a, a sculpture, in a sense. You know, it could be a room within a room. You know, where uh, there is no sun, where there is uh, the nature has been cut off. You can recreate it in a sense. You see, and uh, my akari are in a sense uh, sunlight, n new sunlight. You see, which the paper permits, but by by you know permeating the uh, atmosphere with uh, uh, the quality of paper, not merely electricity, you have the equivalent of a natural uh, sunny environment. Avec ses projecteurs et sa nef lumineuse, le 33e salon des arts ménagers se place d'emblée sous le signe de la Biennale de la Lumière, par laquelle l'électricité se propose à la fois d'attirer l'attention du public, de l'informer, et même de répondre électroniquement à ses questions sur les problèmes d'énergie et d'éclairage à la maison, à l'école, au bureau ou à l'atelier. L'électricité de France devait, comme l'an dernier, présenter le clou du salon. Ces plateaux volants qui offrent des friandises aux visiteurs et dansent un ballet fantastique. Et d'ailleurs, auprès des maisons de nos grands-mères, le moindre stand de ce salon semble sortir tout droit d'un authentique et incroyable conte de fées. Cependant, dans ce salon, un stand laisse particulièrement rêveur, celui de la cuisine future, qui est un compromis entre le bureau de travail, le boudoir, le salon de coiffure et le laboratoire atomique. Les feux y cuisent sans brûler, l'eau coule sans mouiller, il faut être à la fois milliardaire pour l'acheter et polytechnicien pour s'en servir. Mais une maîtresse de maison accomplie doit savoir mêler poésie et technique. Akari lamps emerged from out of this intense period of reconstruction and economic boom of the 1950s, rooted in the growing need for permanent change. New ways of life, new materials, new means of production. Modernity is defined by an aesthetic of priority. For mica, sheet metal, plastic, plexiglass and frosted glass rule the day. Mass consumption becomes the major social trend. What people want of fashions and objects is not that they last, but that they satisfy immediate desire. It's the advent of resourcefulness, recuperation, and DIY, do it yourself. As the fear of nuclear war takes hold, people dream of outer space. Science fiction contaminates architecture and furniture design and invades TV screens. The aesthetic of the curvilinear predominates, fluid forms which delimit a surface or a volume. Design roots its inspiration in the field of the plastic arts. Lamps and light fittings, just like wallpapers, imitate the abstract motifs of Calder, Miro, and Arp. The imitation of now rare materials becomes widespread. Fake wood, fake stone, fake marble, imitation brick. Lighting appliances lend themselves most easily to showiness, ephemeralness, cheapness. Yet at the same time, designers enjoy extraordinary freedom of form, turning their backs on the right angle, using new materials in a riot of color.
1950 returned to Japan to Hiroshima. The invention of the Akari lamps was in part linked to a project for a memorial to the victims of the atom bomb, a project which was never completed and which amounted in the end to two bridge guardrails, as here Noguchi was seen as an American citizen. But near Hiroshima is the town of Gifu, famous for the manufacture of umbrellas and paper lanterns. The mayor of Gifu invited the artist to convince him to invent a modern lamp by which to revitalize the dying local lantern industry. A new lamp to shine in the night of Hiroshima, as Noguchi was to say. Akari, the ideogram of light which gives hope. In a village in the north of Japan, the art of making paper from mulberry bark is still alive today. Washi comes from the Chinese wa, which means Japan, and shi, which means paper matter. A tradition which harks back seven generations, the making of this paper requires enormous experience. The branches of the white mulberry tree are gathered into bunches and boiled in large vats. Only the white part is kept, which is then cooked to obtain a thick paste of fine particles. Diluted in water, this paste produces a fibrous suspension, which is then filtered through a bamboo mesh. The sheet obtained is left to dry in the sun on a rack. The first Akari prototypes drew their inspiration from the principle of the Japanese kite. They reconciled a constant interest in light and a renewed identification with Japan. The fabrication of an Akari is a four-stage process. The craftsman assembles the framework, which will serve as a template for the lamp. As many wooden forms as lamp shapes, evoking instruments of a bygone age, tools of the Middle Ages, heavy and rudimentary compared to the lightness of the Akari. Then Higo bamboo stem, both tough and supple, is rolled in a spiral around the matrix. It will form the Akari's pliable armature. A special glue is applied to the bamboo to receive the humidified, softened paper. It is carefully fitted to alternate panels and trimmed along the glue line. Heating in an oven accelerates and seasons the drying process. Once the lamp is dried and molded, the template can be dismantled and removed. The paper is then creased to facilitate future folding and unfolding. The final touch is the insertion of a light metal structure to which the light bulb will be fitted and which can serve to suspend the lamp or stand it on the floor or a table. The Akari is ready. All that remains is to summon up light. For Noguchi, Akari signifies light, but also evokes illumination and suggests weightlessness. These paper sculptures, chrysalises in luminous gestation, appear more fragile than they are. Akari lamps seem to float, projecting their light in passing, organic translucent hulls that mind over matter could seemingly move.
if they barely exist when lit, when unlit, they fold and vanish. The kendo helmet and outfit worn by the young Noguchi in 1911 probably inspired this Bakelite head, whose abstract lines house a loudspeaker. A disguised interphone, the radio nurse was designed to monitor children's bedrooms. It opened up the design market to Noguchi who during the difficult years of the 30s mainly earned his livelihood making portraits, commissioned somewhere between design and sculpture, which enabled him to frequent the New York cultural scene and to experiment with a variety of techniques from American chrome to Japanese terracotta. In the 50s, Noguchi was mainly recognized as a sculptor, the inventor of abstract and organic forms and creator of emblematic objects of contemporary furniture. He paved the way for a whole generation engaged simultaneously in the pursuit of art, design and architecture. For him, the terms design and sculpture were devoid of meaning and wholly interchangeable. It is possible to sit down and play with his sculptures while at the same time, his furniture and lamps have sculptural qualities. By means of a coherent formal vocabulary, these organic elements are freely united or fitted together, constituting a unified whole of pure, often primary forms, like the cube, the triangle, and the sphere. With a constant will to apprehend space, his numerous artistic endeavors, stage sets and gardens, sculpture and design, enabled this creator to experiment with an extraordinary range of materials. From steel to stone, from plastic to earth, from resin to wood, from paper to light. The forms conceived by the designer show that he is subject to the same influences as the artist. They have less to do with the functionality of a piece of furniture, a technique or a material, but are more inspired of modern painting and sculpture. The overall geometry of Akaris is organized by the bamboo spiral, which structures the sheet of paper, whatever form the lamp may take, from egg shape to cube. This spiral motif runs right through Noguchi's work. Water, like light, seduces him through its plasticity and transparency. The aquatic spirals of his fountains at Osaka produce a vibration between objects and space. Water becomes light, which becomes form. The spiral of water endlessly unravels and vanishes. Its liquid flux becomes luminous, a spiral of light. Forms and functions may be copied, but not qualities, said Noguchi. My Akari lamps flooded the world with more imitations than originals, yet that only drove me to invent new models, inaccessible to imitation. In vain, as even his most complex models are today still copied by major international groups. The pillaging of the Akari lamp is one of the most widespread examples of design piracy. One only has to leaf through the catalogs of the cut price furnishing firms to appreciate the extent.
Affluence is an avowal of memory, as widespread as plagiarism, yet perhaps more acceptable. Today, the German designer Ingo Maurer claims direct lineage with Akaris, and his paper Ma Mo Mnuchis, which pun on the creator's name, are vibrant tributes to Noguchi. Of more intimate proportions, lamps that are personal and individual, originally in pure white paper, some Akaris are enriched with motifs and color to create a different relationship to light. Akaris have found an unexpected descendant in the garment objects of Japanese creator Issei Miyake, who qualifies himself as a designer of fashion. The visual resonances between Noguchi and Miyake are obvious. The one sculpts light, the other destructures the female body. of these paper lanterns, ancient clarity of fossilized stars, shimmers on the cusp of moonlight and solar eclipse. The Akari constellation will continue to shine beneath the celestial vault, at the crossroads of Orient and Occident, in the fusion of day and night, in the gentle union of difference, for the appeasement of all. Oh,